Okay, so when you are ready to participate in your group discussion board, you're going to enter the course. And when you enter the course, you should see two links that will get you there. One is over here on the left-hand side, um, my group group discussion. You can click there, or if you look at the very bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that you have this little my groups area uh, that you can click to open and you can see all the tools uh, of your group. Um, so you have discussion group one and so you can go directly from to the group discussion board from there. So if you click that it takes you directly to your group discussion board. If however you want to come in through this link that I've provided up here on the left you'll see that it's going to take you to this little area where it gives you all the instructions for the discussion first. It tells you when it's due, how many times you have to participate, and though it does not look like you can click it, you can actually click the title Discussion Group 1. This will take you into your group page, which is the big version of what's down here in the left-hand corner. Uh, so again, it'll show you who else is in your group, and then it under Group Tools, you want to click Group Discussion Board. And again, it takes you back to this exact same place. So once you make it here, uh, you don't want to create a forum, but you want to go into Discussion Group 1. And once you go into Discussion Group 1, now you can create a thread. Okay? Uh, so you'll create thread, and you can title the thread after the story uh, that you want to talk about. Okay? Um, so let's say we say the little... The Little Mermaid discussion. Okay. Hey, what what did you guys think? I thought the Little Mermaid was kind of selfish, leaving her family like that. Or what else? Whatever you want to say. Um, you want to think of this as a conversation. So you don't want to type necessarily like a whole paragraph. Maybe later in the conversation when you're really getting into something, you can type a paragraph. But when you're just getting started out, you can just give an opinion or ask somebody about uh, something that they said. Um, you know, would you leave your family like she did? So maybe you ask a question, make a statement, ask two questions, something like that. When you're ready to submit, you hit submit at the top or at the bottom. All right, so now the thread is created. Okay, so say I'm a different student and I am just coming into the group discussion board. When I come in, I will see that there's already a thread for the Little Mermaid. Um, and now this works uh, just like any discussion. You can reply directly to this person. And when you reply, uh, it keeps it up here so you can read it, which is, which is nice. Um, you can change the title of this. So it's automatically going to be a reply to the Little Mermaid discussion. Um, I would totally leave my family. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I definitely would. I'm just, it's an example, like if you wanted to. Um, I would leave them because, dot, 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 I feel she was justified because, dot, 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 whatever it is that you have to say. Um, and then, of course, you hit submit. What you don't want to do is create more than one thread for one story. Everything should be replied to in the same thread for that story. Uh, so say, you know, you're not ready to talk about The Little Mermaid, but you read about the steadfast soldier. soldier. Then you would hit create thread um, and create a thread for the steadfast soldier since one's not already created. Um, and that's it. Uh, that is where all your group discussions will be. Uh, remember to create one thread for each story. Uh, and so there's five people in each group. So there's four other people. They could have logged in before you and already started a thread. And if they did, then you just want to make sure that you click on that thread uh, and read everything that uh, people have already written about uh, before you reply. And you can reply again specifically to each comment uh, in here. You can change the title. Um, these are kind of poor examples because I forgot to sign my name, uh, but it shows you right up here uh, who it is. Um, and in this one, it's going to be a little bit more flexible. You don't have to say the dear and sign so much. Um, maybe if you are going to write a paragraph or if you are referring, uh, you know, there's been a lot of comments and you want to refer backwards to something that someone said specifically, uh, you would say, you know, 
hey, Megan, uh, you know, I think that you're right and about saying this. You can even quote people. Uh, if you hit this little quote button here, you can actually quote what they said and have it up at the top and type under it, okay? Uh, so that's also an option for you. I'm also going to post an announcement that gives you some tips on how to navigate uh, discussion boards, those types of things. But this is how you get into the group discussions and this is how you participate, okay? Um, now, if there are ones that you created Okay, so there's no editing or deleting in the group discussion board, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you're saying what you want to say before you hit submit and uh, post. Um, I will go back through in my instructor login and, and delete, um, <laughs> delete these comments because they were just an example. Uh, and this is my student login, so you can see exactly what it should look like as a student um, accessing the group discussion board. Uh, one other thing that I want to point out is whichever link that you use, you'll only ever be able to see your group stuff. So there's five groups in the course. You're not going to be able to see those other groups. You're only going to be able to see what your group says. Uh, so um, if there's a group discussion board there, you're in, that's the right one. You're in the right place. All right, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them to the question room. Uh, if you're having anything weird happen, if you can take a screenshot uh, so we can see what is not showing up correctly, uh, please do remember that Firefox is the recommended uh, browser for uh, Blackboard. So sometimes if something isn't working correctly, it's as simple as switching over to Firefox. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoy your group discussions. Remember, this is the closest thing to a class discussion that we're going to get. I apologize for my noisy little puppy. My noisy little puppy. She wants to uh, comment here on the video. Uh, but that's it. Uh, and good luck, guys.